Hey, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd talk a little bit today about holding on to stuff that doesn't serve us very well. Um, we're all victims of that in a way, aren't we? I, I know I've been guilty of kind of holding anger or frustration inside. And actually, you know, sometimes that can have quite physical connotations, can't it? And, and make us quite ill. Um, and you've heard of people say, you know, sick with fear and that kind of stuff. Um, and so I thought it would be useful today to, to talk a little bit more about that, okay? And it reminded me of um, a lovely Maya Angelou quote that really resonated with me um, that says this, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It's quite profound, isn't it, when you think about it? And um, uh, it, it really rang true for me because, uh, like I say, I've been guilty of that, holding on to stuff. And, uh, you know, if you're a parent, you've probably seen the film, but uh, I guess you have to say, let it go. Um, but it's not always that easy. And, you know, there's lots of quotes that I've heard in, in the course of my training work and my, you know, personal development stuff. And, and one of those things is this, everything changes. That's it, just two words, everything changes. And that I found so beneficial in this kind of what I hold on to and what I let go of. Because it, it kind of teaches us that when life is going well, um, let's not take that for granted, but instead maximize the opportunities that life's given us, um, knowing that it's not always gonna be like that. And I don't mean that in a negative way, I mean that in a realistic way, because hey, this is life, right? But what it also means is when you feel like you may be at your lowest ebb, right? Where something's happened, maybe you've lost somebody or something in your life and life just isn't going as well as you'd like at that moment in time. Remember this, everything changes. It won't always be that way. And us humans are really clever, you know. We can decide what we feel and we can also decide how we label what we feel. And to kind of give you a bit of an idea of that, you know, um, have you ever had butterflies in your stomach? Yeah? Not just me then. So you get butterflies in your stomach when maybe you're in love. Maybe you're excited. Or maybe you're scared. Isn't that interesting? Almost the same sensation just has a different label and we choose that label so I, I'm kind of talking about lots of different things at the moment but what I'm saying is if you remember that holding on to something that doesn't serve you isn't helping with the sensations that you feel and actually could have a detrimental effect in your life physically or otherwise that's the first thing. The second thing is to remind ourselves that, hey, everything changes. So either let's make the most of it or um, let's accept that this is a temporary blip in our lives. And the third thing is be careful how you label what you're feeling because that will influence the course of action moving forward too, right? Maybe that's a bit cryptic today, um, but see see what you think and and hey you know you know the drill let me know uh give me your thoughts give me your comments and if you like it share it and don't forget to subscribe by the way so i'm going to leave that with you everything changes take care see you soon